Hi there guys, um, today we're going to be talking about quite a popular species, a very, most people would have encountered one if you've ever fished in the sea or actually pretty much anywhere in the estuaries and the seas they are very very common, that is the Mooney, also known as a kite fish, but it really just depends who you speak to as to what they, which um, name they, they, they prefer to use. Um, genus name is Monodactylus and then there are two species that we get. You get the oval moony and you get the round moony. Now the round moony is Argentius, uh, Monodactylus Argentius and uh, the oval moony is Falsiformis. So Monodactylus Falsiformis. Those are the two we get. And that the round and oval kind of give away how they look. Your round moony is more compact, more rounded, and your oval one is more elongated, so the head's a little bit longer from where the two dorsal and anal fins sit out. And that brings us to shape. Now he gets called a kite fish because of his shape. He's got a fairly uniform body, and he's got the top, top and bottom fins like that, that sit out and spread like that. So he actually gets a sort of a sort of a, a square on its side kind of a shape if that makes sense, a diamond, sort of a diamond shape. Um, you're going to get them up to about 25 centimeters, that's where they get to, so on, a, on light tackle he gives a hell of a go. A little fish like that, because of his broad side he can really put up a lot of resistance, so he is, he's a very nice fish. Ultralight tackle and fly tackle is really where you want to, where you want to be targeting them. They are, they have very big eyes, so that's designed for how they hunt. They, they, they shoal together in little groups and they're very good. obviously the big eye helps them be protected from predators, but also helps them look out, uh, look for the, the small fish and the, the tiny little organism that they eat. So they can actually spot them and sort of hunt them down. Now, diet-wise, they're omnivores, they eat, they do eat a little bit of plant matter, they do eat a lot of uh, protein, so your, your little, any, any of your little uh, organs that you're going to find in the estuary, all the sh shallow sort of rocky areas are going to be what they're going to feed on. Um, they are extremely common in your estuaries, so you're going to, if, if you've fished in a harbour before, if you've fished in an estuary, if you've fished in the shallow areas of rocky zones, you're going to, you're going to have, would have encountered them already. Um, they are very, very good fish in captivity. It's actually, there was a place in at Sabaya Casino that had a, a round uh, cylinder tank with them for many years. And they breed well in captivity, they, they do well, they adjust, and they obviously they eat a lot of things, so they, they're not really very, very fussy or anything. Now, tackling them, uh, going after them specifically, you're really going to look at small white baits, work very well for them, so little pieces of squid are ideal. Otherwise, prawn also works incredibly well, and they do occasionally eat sardine if you want. So, they really are, they're not very specific when it comes to, to what they're going to eat. In your lures wise, small flies, uh, salty buggers are deadly for them, little white salty buggers. And little crazy charlies, small crazy charlies are also very, very good. Um, and then if you want to use other things, your little sprat, uh, sprat sticks, uh, put them on that, put them on little spoons. The, the little white pedal tail works very well for them as well. And then any, anything that's really small and, and moves it with a bit of a jerky action is, is really what they're looking for. So look for them around, in estuaries you want to look for them around cover. They're going to hug quite close because they are quite a popular prey fish for bigger species. So anywhere around structure, uh, whether it be rocks, trees, uh, little in indentations or, or walls or things like that. And in the surf you're going to look in gullies specifically or behind, next to sandbanks where there's a bit of a dip. They're going to, going to sit in there in the shallow water. They'll, it's more kind of where they're going to be. So yeah, the Mooney, uh, two distinct species. We do get both up here and they really move along pretty much the entire coast you get them. Um, they used to have different names, but now oval and round makes it a hell of a lot easier to identify what it looks like. So yeah, Monodactylus, very interesting species and something that pretty much is available to everyone that, gets, that, that can fish in the sea. So yeah, Moonies. Cheers guys.